Hey everyone, welcome back to Devly Code. Today, we're building an interactive product card UI using CSS clip path, filters, and a looping video background. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have a fully responsive, stylish product card that you can use in your own projects. Let's jump into the code. We'll start by understanding our HTML structure. First, we create a DIV with the class cards container. This acts as the wrapper for our card. It keeps everything organized and makes sure our design stays centered on the page. Now, let's create our actual product card. This DIV with the class card will hold all the content inside. This is the top section of our card, where we show the product title inside class title, a short description class description, a call to action button inside class learn more button. Now for the coolest part, the video background in the bottom section. Instead of using a static image, we add a video element. Autoplay starts the video automatically. Loop keeps the video running continuously. Muted removes sound, since we don't want random audio playing. And that's our HTML structure done. And here's what we have so far. A container, cards container, to keep everything centered a product card that holds everything inside, a top section with product details, a bottom section with a looping video. Now, let's move on to styling it with CSS and making it look fire. First, let's remove the default browser styles to make sure our layout is consistent across all devices. Targets all elements on the page. Margin, zero, removes default spacing. Padding, zero, ensures no extra padding is applied. Box sizing, border box, make sure width calculations include padding and borders. Now, we have a clean starting point for our styles. Next, let's define the default font style for our page. Font family, sans serif, makes the text clean and modern. You can replace it with Poppins, Roboto, or any custom font. This ensures a smooth and readable text appearance across our page. Now, let's create a flexible and responsive container for our cards. Display. Flex. Enables Flexbox, making alignment easier. Justify Content. Center. Aligns the cards horizontally. Align Items. Center. Centers them vertically. Flex Wrap. Wrap. Makes sure cards adjust to different screen sizes. Padding. 20px. Adds spacing around the container. Gap. 20px. Ensures even spacing between the cards. Now our cards will be properly aligned and spaced. Now. Let's style the individual cards. Max width, 400px, keeps the card within a reasonable size. Flex, 300px, ensures a minimum width for each card. Position, relative, is needed for positioning inner elements. Height, 535px, sets a fixed height for consistency. Filter, drop shadow, adds a subtle shadow effect. This gives our cards a clean, structured, and modern look. Now, Let's add a stylish top section for the card. Height, 300px, reserves space for the top section. Width, 100%, ensures it spans the full width of the card. Overflow, hidden, prevents content from spilling out. Now, the top section is set up, ready for its background. To make the top section stand out, let's add a diagonal background using CSS clip path. Background color, number 121212 makes the background dark and stylish. Clip path, polygon, cuts the section diagonally for a unique look. If you want to learn more about how clip path work and create unique shape using clip path, watch this video. You get the link on top and in description too. Now, padding, 25px, ensures proper spacing inside. Border radius, 20px, makes the edges smooth and modern. Now, we have a unique, stylish card top section Let's format the text content inside the card. Color, Alice Blue, makes the text stand out against the dark background. Display, Flex, and Flex Direction. Column, stacks elements vertically. Gap, 20px, ensures proper spacing between text elements. Now, our text is well organized and visually appealing. Now, let's style the title and description inside the card. Font size, 25px and font weight. Bold, increases title size and makes it bold. Line height, 
1.3 improves text readability by adjusting the line spacing. Now, our text is neatly organized and easy to read. Let's make the button interactive with hover effects. Now, the button is stylish and interactive. Now, let's add a visually engaging bottom section that plays a video. This step is crucial because it enhances user engagement by adding a dynamic background effect inside the card. Instead of using a static image, we'll use a video to make our card more interactive and appealing. First, we create the card bottom class. This will serve as the container for the video section inside the card. Height, 300px, defines the height of the video section. Width, 100%, ensures it takes up the full width of the card. Overflow, hidden, prevents the video from overflowing outside the card. Position, absolute, positions the bottom section relative to the dot card. Bottom, zero, locks it at the bottom of the card. Now, our bottom section is properly placed and will contain our video. Next, we define card bottom inner, which will hold the actual video and apply a unique shape to it. Height, 100% and width, 100%, make sure it fills the bottom section completely. Border Radius 20px adds rounded corners for a softer look. Clip Path Polygon This creates a unique slanted shape. The top left part is slightly cut 25% to match the diagonal style of the top section. Overflow Hidden ensures that anything outside the defined shape remains hidden. Now, our bottom section has a modern, diagonal shape. Finally, let's style the actual video inside Card Bottom Inner. Object Fit Cover Ensures the video covers the entire section without stretching. Width 100% and Height 100% Makes the video fit perfectly within the card bottom inner. Now, our card has a sleek video section that automatically resizes. Now, we are seeing that the border radius is not properly working on the clip path shape. This happens because the clip path property creates a clipping mask for an element and it does not allow the border radius to apply the way we expect. To create a rounded border effect, we'll be using an SVG filter. This filter will help us achieve that subtle rounded border and blurred effect around our elements, like the card top and card bottom. I will provide the SVG filter code in the description. Simply copy and paste it anywhere in the body tag of your HTML document. Now, let's apply this filter to our elements. First, we'll apply it to the card top section. As you can see now, the card top section has a nice rounded border effect applied to it. Next, let's also apply the filter to the card bottom section to make it look consistent. And now the card bottom section is also enhanced with a rounded border effect. Now, you might notice that the SVG filter is still taking up space in the DOM, even though it's hidden. To make sure it doesn't interfere with other content, we can hide it from the view while keeping its functionality intact. Here we set the round border class to visibility, hidden, so it doesn't show up on the page, but we're still able to use its filter effect. We also make sure it doesn't interfere with any interactions by setting pointer events, none. And that's it. We have successfully built a stylish card component with modern CSS techniques. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you in the next one.